Why couldn't I just... The city seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Nice going, Vijay. Bit off more than you can chew again. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit. Before someone calls the cops on them. I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. some shady characters selling bad fu- Yo, wait a second! Spiders here! Call the boys! We ain't losing this shipment! Won't last long, Spider! <laughs> we got this! We got this! Finally show him soon. You regret fighting us. <laughs> Yeah! 
Fireworks! They're lit! Uh, the river! I can chuck them! Wait! They lit two more? Okay! Last crate! Gotta hurry! Or this place is toast! Nice. Happy birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. And the Sandcastle competition starts now. And no cheating! You just had to make it hard, huh? Crystal. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Mark, I was really laying low these past few years. Would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the rack. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Harry! Sorry we got interrupted. Keep going? Hey, Pete. You ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? 
a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, I just checked in on Dan and Annie. They're Here, follow me. Really apt data to somehow cross tabulate with the AI learning I did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not the Nice! Hear that, little bee wolves? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Yes! Yep! Oh, yeah! Coming for you, bee wolf! Check the hive! You're not gonna mess with my bees! Nice! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea.
<laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Did you have a friend in mind? The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Yeah, hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. You so put your Wayback Helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. 
Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Okay, if I combine these traits...
One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. What next? Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? He'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and May proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and if your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. 
Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there.